What's happening YouTube? Um, it's only me, again, uh, third blog in three days, it's not bad going is it? Um, a lot easier to do now, I've uh, shortened these blogs down, I made them nice and concise and tried to you know, eradicate all the special effects that I was trying to put in before and trying to you know, work above my station, producing 10 minute videos as I was. Um, just on my haircut as well, can you tell? You see he's gone a bit short round the sides though. Um, let me know if you think that looks good or not because when you've got ears like mine that stick out a little bit, anybody who's got sticky pointy out ears and suffers with this terrible affliction will tell you that you shouldn't have your hair this short. Look, it's all any there round that side. Um, on that side as well, obviously it's the same, both sides, well I hope it is. Um, but yeah, so when you've got ears like mine, it's probably best that you don't go that short. Um, I wasn't, you know, I'm not speaking to you and, and, and talking about my hair all the time. I just wanted to ask you a few things about Stephen Pienaar. I um, want to pick your brains because uh, I believe that Tottenham aren't budging on the, the £3 million price tag or the £3 million offer that we're offering. They may value him a little bit more than that. Um, I, I don't know the ins and outs of this. Probably people who are, you know, uh, live a bit closer to Goodison and, and, and you know, live and breathe it a little bit more might might know some other things but from what I can tell um, Tottenham aren't accepting the fee that we're willing to pay I don't know if they want 3 million or we're paying 3 million they want a little bit more um, the Kale money hasn't actually uh, worked in our favour that much in terms of we hasn't been able to generate enough to, to give Tottenham what they want for the Pienaar deal so my question is is should we give up on Stephen Pienaar today um, I know there's a whole you know, there's a big emotional value attached to Stephen Pienaar, and I understand that, and I appreciate it. I love him. Listen, I love him as much as the next man. I'd have his kids. He's brilliant. We all love Stephen Pienaar, but he's 30 now. Kale's 31, and we've just let him go. Now, I do understand that Kale was not as effective, nowhere near as effective as Stephen Pienaar was when he came back to us last season. However, where are we trying to go with this now? Are we just following him for the sake of it? Um, that's it. It's a good question. I don't know if it's been asked enough amongst Evertonians, so that's why I make these blogs to ask these questions. So leave your answers underneath. Remember, comment, subscribe. I've had some brilliant feedback so far. I start my new job tomorrow, um, but it's a nine to five thing, so it means that I'll get more time around. When I was doing the three jobs before, I didn't have any time to do anything. You know, I was looking for a job like that I've got. So, um, you know, so I'm going to be able to put these up and continue this, I think. Um, and I hope and I want to as well because it's not that I don't want to do these, I do, I love doing these things. Um, so yeah, continue to leave your comments underneath, like the video, subscribe, share amongst the Everton community. Let's get chatting. Do you think Everton should continue to pursue Stephen Pienaar? I don't know. Let me know. Cheers then. Bye bye.